Well, here we go. Here's one from the loft. 18 years old, believe it or not. I can actually remember buying this one and thought it was a bit overpriced at £1.99. Got it from the famous Pars Model Railways Modelling and Art Shop in Lowestoft, which is still there and which I was in last week. Lovely place. Um, yeah, I remember buying this and being surprised how much kits actually had become. Now, this is the only Airfix catalogue I've got, so this isn't going to be a series like the uh, Hornby catalogues are or the Hornby uh, track plans either so here we go let's have a little look see what delights there were for 2006 i seem to remember that afx had like struggled and we're just suddenly back online so let's have a look what we got so open it up nice and bright on a black background really contrasty really good so start off we've got a picture of the english electric canberra i'm not sure who's flying in that photo but if it's roland beamont i know him i know i knew him and uh, i wrote a book about him his log books so then we've got some sort of monstery rocket sci-fi thing. We've got Nimrod and his good old Wallace and Gromit. Height of their popularity, and they were brilliant. 2006 will be another busy year for FX. Proud to announce some much requested new kits. 172 Nimrod, four 148 Canberras. Uh, two commemorative sets of Spitfires and kit modification to make a Mark One. Robo gear, FX's new sci-fi war game. Anyway, down here on the old vehicles, sorry about the reflection, I should move a bit. There's an M4 Sherman tank Mark 1 in 172 scale. So let's move around and see if we can get rid of some of these. Oh, that's, that's, that's better, isn't it? It's not perfect, but it's better. So let's have a look. Here. FX present the Mighty Hunter, the Nimrod. Brilliant. Got rid of for the uh, AUX, of course. Then the Canberra, brilliant. This was in service forever. So there we go. There's a little pilot in there. And Roland Beamont, B, is mentioned in there. Now, he carried on through to the Tornado program, having uh, originally joined up in, um, or just before the war, flying Hurricanes in the Battle of France with 87 Squadron, then went to 79 Squadron. Then uh, he, he led 609 Squadron in the peak sort of time between 42 and 43. Commanded the first Tempest Wing. Um, yeah, shot down a 1944 attack on a train, survived. Test pilot for the Lightning and the Canberra and the TSR2. Right, here we go. Reginald Mitchell designed the Spitfire. When told the name, he decided the Air Ministry. Would give it a bloody stupid name, they like that. What was it he said exactly? I've, I've fumbled, haven't I? That's the sort of bloody stupid name they would give it. <laughs> right, here we go. Robo gear. I bet that uh, is still going. <laughs> Not. Start set and bounce set. I suppose you've got to try and relaunch that to appeal to people. Look at this. Join our clubs. www.airfix.com look at this this was the early days of the internet so this is this is worth splashing out so you've got the classic modelers club what else you got you've got the the uh, team modelers club for the kids that's cool then gift sets range a good old mission 262 up there so mission 262a we've got a uh, freedom fighter f5a spitfire mark 1a look at that it's nice MiG-15, you've got the Red Arrows and that, always popular, Westland Gazelle, and HMS Victory. Oh, I don't know what we've got here, it's a car. So, Subaru Impreza, Scooby, F5E Tiger 2. Hmm, I bet they sold that quite well after Top Gun came out. M4 Sherman, Mark 1. Ford Focus WRC Peugeot 206. I'm, I'm sorry, but that, I mean, that especially, that's a shopping car for Granny. Saab Draken, I remember them and the Vigans. Tiger One Tank, Mitsubishi WRC 01, the 307 WRC, and a Hawker Hurricane Mark 1. Lovely. Now, my mate Jimmy Stewart said that was the nicest aircraft he ever flew. 
He left one at the bottom of the Atlantic after fighting a fuck off condor and uh, he pranged one in a deck banding. Spitfire Mark 5B, RFD, so that's Polish Squadron. British Aerospace Harrier GR3. Oh, look, we got a, got a measurement and a hurricane up there. Honda RC2 11 5, Yamaha YZR M1, Westland Sea King, a Ducati, Suzuki 500cc, and a 109E. Ah, this is going well, isn't it? There you go, you've got Johnny Johnson's Mark 9 Spitfire there, behind, oh, sorry, coming past with a measurement 110. So you have the Mark 2B Hurricane with Junkers 88. You can have a Panavia Tornado GR4, Lockheed Knight, or oh, look at that, Stealth Fighter, HMS Arc Royal, Spitfire 5B, have a Meteor and a Doodlebug, should be a Tempest with a Doodlebug, really, and V1. Supermarine Spitfire Mark 9 with Meshmet BF 110C, Johnny Johnson being the highest scoring British ace, was it 38 kills from memory? Bristol Bowfighter with a Meshmet 109G6, a Harrier GR7, a Tomcat, Top Gun, haha, -ha. HMS Belfast, gift sets range D, 307, so this is Peugeot, is our Honda motorbike, another car, Sepcat Jaguar, I can remember them flying around from Coltshall, Spitfire F2224, Apache, AH64, they were a cool looking thing. Been scared crapless over one of those coming up um, across me when I was on Head of Scrum Marshes. Scooby, Ford Focus, and the Ducati Motorbike. I've got one of them. 70th Anniversary Spitfire. Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Wear Rabbit. That's a brilliant film, I like that. Then uh, another Spitfire. Space Shuttle. I built a model of that once. Another Wallace and Gromit. An RNLIC rescue launch. Dinosaurs. Yeah, some more cars. We got some other bits and pieces. What have we got here? Themed gift sets. That's quite nice. Quite nice artwork. Concorde. Remember when that crashed. I used to go to school with a kid whose dad was um, a pilot with them. Horton, his name was. About the Brit Memorial flight. Lovely. Look at that. The length, spit, and hurricane. Dan Buster's gift set, D-Day gift set, that's quite good. Pretty certain that that's a Vietnam era photograph. Great Western. And HMS Victory, HMS Victory medium scale, that was the large scale one. And Queen Mary 2. Bristol Bowfighter, look at that. De Havilland Tiger Moth, love those. Love to go in one of those. Went to have a go, got there, weather clamped. Red Arrows and that, was a long time ago. P40 Kitty Hawk, look at that, lovely desert one with a shark tooth, classic look for it. Oster Antarctic, Hawker Typhoon 1B, my favourite. I built this kit, gave it to my mate Jim, St uh, Jim Finch, who's ground crew, anti-aircraft gunner, with a Canadian Typhoon squadron. Fog Wolf 190D, the long nosed Dora. Mark 1A Spitfire, I knew a lot of people who flew them. Avro Anson. Bristol Blenheim, Mark IV, like the one they had flying at Duxford. Meshmet 109G, the Gustav. It's an Avro 504K. Saab Draken. Spitfire 5C. And a Bowfighter TFX. Hurricane Mark 1 Stroke 2B. Long range tanks on it. Hawker Hunter. English Electric Lightning F3. Lightning again was uh, test flown by Rona Beaumont. A 109E, the Emil. Westland Lysander, seen three of those in the air together. Spitfire Mark 9, Johnny Johnson, high score sprit, scoring British A's. Hurricane Mark 1. Harrier GR3. Lockheed Lightning. I think that might be Richard Bong's markings, in which case I've built that kit. Mozzie, lovely they are. Puma, never got a ride in one of those. Domini, Jaguar. I actually arranged for fly pass with those once uh, for Jaguars returning from a training exercise um, to Colt Shaw. Did a missing man formation over a memorial. I erected a couple of 609 guys at uh, Martham. Red Arrows Hawk. Stuka. Built one of those once. Don't know if it's the Airfix one. 
and a vegan. So you got the Saab vegan and Draken. There you go. Sea King. <laughs> Went up in one of those once, an SE Rescue one. Hovered over the cliffs at Cromer. Took off from Coltshall. Uh, they sent a man down on the winch and he came up with a flipper and a uh, skateboard. Weirdly. Cost a lot of taxpayers' money, but that's practice for them. Lynx. Vampire. Sea Knight. Takano. Send them. Trainer. Tunnan. Never heard of that one. T6 Texan. And a Mozzie. A Night Fighter one. Night 19. It's four machetes. SM79. Vickers case. VC10. Huh. Mum and Dad were talking about the VC tenors the other day. That's what that's the nickname they gave me in Zambia to the people who flew over. You know, the women flying over to look for a husband and so on. Martin Marauder, often forgotten. Lockheed U2, the F 18 Hornet, they were quite nice. Panavia Tornado F3, you see them flying around a lot. And the F 16, still see them from time to time, I think. Harrier GR7. Western Sea King again. Catalina, they're lovely. You used to regularly see one of those. Tornado GR4. Saab Gripen, never heard of that. And the Tomcat. Sukhoi SU27 Flanker. Now look at this one, see this? Lockheed Hudson, back due to demand. Original tooling was back in the 60s, 62 I think. I just had one right through the door today. The Hudson found fame with the RAF as a long-range coastal command reconnaissance bomber. Kit includes new decals for Australian and New Zealand operated aircraft. Apparently it's a horrendous kit, doesn't fit very well. It looks okay afterwards, but worn out moulds and all that. And there's a stealth bomber. F-15. Short Sunderland 3. Now my mate had one of those, his dad built when he was a kid. And that was an absolutely gorgeous model that was. A-10 Thunderbolt. I can remember them. Especially low level. I had one fly over school playground once when I was in primary. Really low. And it was awesome. They were based all around here. They staying there. Another stealth bomber. Halifax B3. Lovely. Lancaster B3. Dan Buster. Lancaster B Mark 1 with a Grand Slam bomb. Boeing B29 Super Fortress. Short Sterling. Avro Lancaster G for George. Avro Vulcan B2, massive, great, noisy things. Pretty awesome to watch. Even someone like me doesn't like jets. Lancaster B3. And the Hawker Sidley British Aerospace Nimrod. Right, there's a lot of pages on this. There's a long old one, this. Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5B, Desert Markings. Sea Harrier. I'd have to folks filter as well, the, uh, the Desert Spitfire. A Sea Fire. 109F, Hurricane Mark 1, Red Arrows Hawk, these are 148s now, Mark 9C Spit, a Mozzie FB Mark 6, A64 Apache, Shara Space Hawk, Space Hawk and Harrier, Sea Harrier, Sepcat Jaguar, Spitfire 2224, and a Mozzie NF30, it's night fight. A Mark 16 PR16, American Markings on the Mozzie there. Tornado F3, fight version, another Lightning, Tornado GR4, I think that's a bomber version from memory, Buccaneer, now those are pretty cool, I've seen them flying as well as a kid, there's a nice looking Lightning, Canberra, I mean they were in service forever, they were still flying over Afghanistan, they were a 50s design, there's a PR9, that's not so, oh look at that, it's four Canberras in 148 scale there, now what we've got here, oof, airliners so you got caravel not aware of those but i have had a beer in the rooftop bar at the caravel in ho chi minh city or saigon as it was 747 i knew the chief pilot of sabina airways georges jaspi x609 typhoon pilot and he would he was uh he was the first belgian pilot on 747s britain norman islander not heard of that concord Dragon Rapide, the one at Duxford, or one of the ones at Duxford, used to belong to Monique Agazarian, whose brother, Noel Agazarian, Aggie, flew 609 Squadron, the Battle of Britain was killed in the Western Desert. Heron, Beaver, and Ford Trimotor, got a snigger at Beaver. <laughs> Concord, Constellation, Super Constellation, I've seen one of those, Connie, everybody's raving about it when it turned up at Duxford. Uh, got 
thought, yeah, it's an airliner. <laughs> Not my thing. Space shuttle. Warships. HMS Ajax. HMS Nelson. Bismarck. Fearless. Hood. Belfast. Oh, there's two models there. Tiger and Daring. A Nava class destroyer and a HMS Hotspur. Manxman and HMS Suffolk. HMS Cossack and HMS Campbelltown. There's a Suffolk. I only ever built one um, warship. Didn't enjoy it much. Don't know which one it was. There's Devonshire, the Hood. My brother built War Spy, Amazon, Leander Class, King George V, USS Forrestal, Scharnhorst or Nisenau, Bismarck or Turpest, Craig's Marine. What have we got here? Oh, Vosper motor torpedo boat. Now, my brother did one of those, I remember that. A seven class lifeboat, an e boat, and an RF rescue launch. That's pretty cool. I'm doing one of those. HMS Victory, Wasa, Cutty Sark, and Bounty. If you want to go for some classic stuff. And then you've got the military vehicles. These are awesome. So, big old land craft coming in there. So, you've got Panther. You've got a 25 pounder. You've got an assault gun, a Stug 3. You've got a Sherman Mark 1, Churchill Mark 7. Tiger 1, Bren Gun Carrier and 6 pound anti tank gun. They're awesome, the Bren Carriers, I'd love one. Scorpion Tank, I had the Action Man one. LCVP Landing Craft, an SD KFZ 234 armored car, Matador 5.5 inch gun, that was the artillery tractor. Willie's Jeep, a little trailer, a GMC truck, a Jimmy, and an M3 Lee Stroke Grant tank. Turning a page, what we got? Scammel tank transporter, Centurion, Buffalo amphibian and Jeep, Panzer IV, 88mm gun and tractor, Bristol Bloodhound, and a Chieftain. There's the Bloodhound, that's a nice that artwork. German reconnaissance set, so there's a Kubel Wagen and an armoured car, Opal Blitz, Pack 40 gun, and a Bofors gun and tractor. Now that kit I built, a lovely little kit that was. I don't know where the Bofors gun has gone, but uh, might still be kicking around somewhere in the house. What we got here? We've got a tank here. Half track. A Churchill Crocodile. Crocodile, I think, was one with a flamethrower. Or the bigger gun. Oh, I can't remember. Challenger. A Sherman Crab. So that's got flails for exploding mines and minefields. LCM and Sherman Tank. That's pretty cool. Sherman Calliope. Never even heard of that. Matilda Hedgehog. And the Churchill Bridge Layer. And then we got the airfield sets. Look at that, that's a nice box art. Go, go! RF control tower. I built that, I've still got the remains of it kicking around. Board command post, never seen that one. RF refueling set, I had that, that was a cool set. The RF emergency set was cool. Below that, that uh, fire tender looked terrible, it got red when I painted it. Jungle outpost, remember somebody when you had that. The pontoon bridge, I had that. The airfield recovery set with the old diamond T, I had one of those. Oh, and this was the best. The figures. Yes, toy soldiers. So you had the 132 scale and the 172 scale, which I had as a kid, which I've been buying now. Some good old artwork there. The 8th Army and 132 scale art. Got a few of those kicking around. US Marines, I had a couple. I had the guy with the uh, little submachine gun. Japanese Infantry, got a couple of those kicking about still. Africa Corps, I had loads of those as a kid, they were cool. German Infantry, multi pose, a few of those. World War II British Infantry, I don't think I had. US Infantry in Europe, I didn't have. Certainly didn't have the Pike Man or the Musketeer. World War II Africa Corps. We've already seen those. There and there. Annoying. World War II, Eighth Army multi pose there and there. Hmm. Cavalier, Roundhead, Crusader tank. Oh. And then the smaller ones, 172 scale, these are cool. Had loads of these. Look at that, that's US Marines there. World War II German infantry, had plenty of those. World War II Russian infantry, didn't have them. Didn't have Japanese infantry. 
don't remember. I don't think I had the 8th Army guys. US Marines I had. British Paratroops I had. I had them in the larger size as well. Commandos I had in the larger size and a few small ones. Gurkhas I had in the larger size. They were excellent. Couple in the smaller size. Italian Infantry, no point. Gun emplacement, look at that. And the Coastal Defence Fort. Now I had the gun emplacement, that was brilliant. Removable pillbox, which I used to fiddle around with. On other things, on my airfield that I built. So there's a fire brigade, fire engine thing. Three models, the Ford Escort, look at that. Still driving around in those days. Fire engine, another fire engine. No, that's the Omnibus. Mm, probably Clapham. Triumph Herald. Now I'd like a real one of those. Got a Spitfire, but Herald would be good. My mum had a Herald. My parents had a Herald. The Vauxhall V, I remember as well. Bentley, 1934 and a half litre, supercharged. And then it's quite good because you've got the, the index in there. So this is all the themed gift sets. Then you've got the military aircraft, etc. etc. Launchers, ships, military vehicles, multi post figures, etc. Modelling notes. Handy, handy use space. And then Humbrol, which was also owned by the same company. If your Humbrol leaflet is missing, please contact your local stockist with copy. So that's quite good. So slip that in. So you've got everything there, really. And that's it. 21 and a half minutes to look through the Airfix catalogue. I'm sorry if I've bored you, but I'm really happy if I've pleased you. So that's it. 2006 model kits. Enjoy.